Ladies and gentlemen, this is the information series of the Passive House Institute. And this is a video in the series of answers to frequently asked questions. This time I am looking into the topic, can I open a window in a passive house? Well, that was asked quite a lot of time. The answers are yes, you can and yes, you may. And we could stop here, but well, let us just add something to that. But you would do it only if you want. And if this causes discomfort for you, yeah, just close the window again. Let's look at that a little bit more closely. Why do we want to have openable windows? Well, we have certified a lot of passive houses and normally we insist in having openable windows. Because most of the people living in buildings, they have many reasons why we want to open windows. We want to call out to someone. We want to hear the birds singing. Or we want to air the rooms or to cool during night. So there are lots of reasons why you might want to have openable windows also in a passive house. Now, especially in a passive house, that's not a problem at all. It's less a problem than in any ordinary building. And the reason for that is that there is a Goldilocks time period in a passive house. Ah, what is that? Now that's the period in the, in the year where the passive house at its building site is exclusively passive. You don't need any heating. You don't need any cooling. It's not too hot and not too cold. Just comfortable. And this time period is much longer in passive houses than in any ordinary buildings. Ordinary buildings in a cold-tempered climate zone, it might be just June. In a passive house, the envelope, the well-insulated envelope of a passive house, keeps the comfortable conditions, even during a much longer time period. So the time period where you really need heating in a passive house, for example at a place like Innsbruck or Frankfurt or Munich, that will be just end of November to mid of March. So there are eight months during the year where you don't need any cooling or any heating at all. Two thirds of a year is that Goldilocks period in the passive house. Now, during that Goldilocks period, you can do whatever you want. You don't operate a heating, you don't operate cooling, there is no humidification because you just don't need it. Now you may open a window just whenever you like, but at the very moment where you start to feel uncomfortable because it's getting too hot or it's getting too cold, well, just close the window again. will be not any problem. You won't have to start the heating or the cooling just because of that. So that's very easy. Now, what about if we are in the heating season? Well, that's not that different. Well, now the heating is running. Again, you may open a window whenever you like. Well, if it's really cold and windy outside, it's no fun to keep a window open longer than you really want. It's the same thing in a normal building. So if it's really cold outside, you close the window again. And in a passive house, this will not create any problem because there's always fresh air available from the fresh air supply of the indoor air quality ventilation system. So if it's not fun, you can keep the window closed in a passive house. So it's much easier in a passive house than you have it in a normal building. You might want to have more information about that and uh, we have a resource for all these information. That's the Passipedia. You can just go to the internet www.passipedia.org and there's a special article about how you open windows or close windows again with j.mp open window. Thank you very much for your attention.